The Sims 4 Growing Together Expansion Pack is out and you already know that I had to do something fun for it. So this is going to be an intro to the Let's Play that I'll be having on the channel. I wanted to do this because I have a lot of Sims that you just need to be familiarized with because I don't want it to take up episode one because those tend to be kind of chatty. I just want to show you all the characters. We're looking at three of them right now and I won't even say characters because we're really going to be focusing on check it out today's barbie and ken's anniversary i know what you're thinking barbie and ken what are you talking about i like for you all to meet my sim barbie de la cruz she is outgoing a little bit of a slob but absolutely loves art i did a creative sim on her and decided to play with her for my growing together gameplay i know what you're thinking you're thinking barbie is that really her name like the barbies yes it is her mom literally was obsessed with barbies and decided hey let me name my child barbie it's not short for barbara it is literally just barbie <laughs> but nonetheless she is almost like a filipino you know filipina barbie to me and so i think the name is very very fitting and i love her to death this LP is going to be very family oriented because we have a lot of family, which is why I need to do this intro. I'm going to give you a little bit of the backstory of these Sims. I have used items from growing together like moles and skin details, freckles, some items of clothing, but I've also incorporated some CC because I just want my LP to look the way that I want it to. But I really love like the moles as you can see that she has and the stretch marks on her belly. Barbie is an island girl at heart. So a lot of her attire is reminiscent of the islands. They are currently on vacation right now in Sulani because they are also visiting her family that lives in Sulani. Barbie will be in her second trimester soon and that's why she's visiting her family now because the bigger she gets, she really doesn't feel comfortable flying all the way to Sulani from San Sequoia. So yes, Barbie is currently a San Sequoia native. Her and her husband Kenneth who is a little bit awkward very very neat and a little bit of a geek um he actually really loves programming and he has a job right now in manual labor it's just a job but they are trying to get on their feet more about that soon Kenneth actually has been in foster care all of his life he's been working on his own since he was 16 years old once he became an adult he just made up his mind like okay I'm gonna get a job but now I'm also gonna pursue something that I've always loved which is working as a game developer of some sort or working in tech he's very passionate about it and Barbie fully supports him initially Barbie left Sulani to live with her tita Jorli. This is Jorli Dimaano and she is the auntie of the family or one of them at least. She flew all the way from Sulani to San Sequoia to live with her tita Jorli to go to school in San Sequoia like her cousin princess. Tita Jorli used to annoy Barbie about when she would get a boyfriend. Okay that's what she would say. When are you gonna get a boyfriend? You know and um, she would joke about that. The funny thing is is as soon as Barbie came to San Sequoia she ended up meeting her now husband Kenneth and he proposed to her in his dingy little apartment and they have been inseparable since and this is princess this is Tita Jorley's daughter which makes that Barbie's cousin and they're very very close actually they're like best friends <laughs> and so Barbie doesn't really need any friends because her family is kind of like everything that she needs I don't she probably should have some friends but princess is self-assured super athletic and very very loyal she is adventurous and she's going to school for a degree in biology her mom is definitely pushing the envelope for her to become a doctor but uh, princess is just she really wants to get into bodybuilding and you know just something dealing with fitness she really doesn't want to be a doctor like her mom tita jorli is a doctor <laughs> I know it feels so odd to be in Sulani when we should be enjoying San Sequoia, but again, we are here celebrating our anniversary, but also spending time with our family here in Sulani. Oh, I see an island elemental. Let's commune with spirits really quick, Barbie. Tita Jorli is a child of the island, so she is very spiritual, and so Barbie sees an elemental right now, so she's like, oh, come here, my ancestors. I am here. I'm ready to receive it all. <laughs> I love this so much. Looking at Barbie's family panel, I love how they added this because we can see all of our family now. Family reunions are going to be so lit. We have a lot of family. And here we are at Barbie's childhood home. This is where we grew up. This is where we spent so much time. This is where we came from. And it's exciting because we get to see our parents 
parents and our brother. Right now, Barbie is hugging our auntie-in-law, Angel de la Cruz. She is married to our uncle, Carlo. This is our dad's brother, by the way, <laughs> who is off somewhere I don't know where he's walking, but she's excited to see us. They also came here also. So let's go ahead and make sure. Oh, make sure that we give a hug too. Oh, I love how they are just giving hugs and everything. They actually live in San Sequoia as well. In my eyes, San Sequoia is uh, like California, San Francisco. That's obviously probably like the inspiration for it. And literally, there are a lot of Filipinos in California. Even my mom had family there. So it's very fitting that we do have some family here. So we will be seeing our auntie, um, our tita, over there as well. Um, and our uncle. And how can I forget? I almost forgot to introduce you to baby Ruby. This is our, uh, I was about to say niece, but this is our cousin. She's so, so, so cute. Ruby is special in the family because she's the only one with a heart birthmark on her forehead. And it is so cute. Now Barbie is going to come over here and... Uh, show her dad her belly so this is her tatai and his name is Crisanto. this is Crisanto de la cruz and it's hilarious because we actually have a dynamic with him right now it says he's a stay-at-home dad he used to own a restaurant but now other family members own that and yeah so he's just chilling and he does odd jobs here and there Crisanto and barbie have a jokesters dynamic sims with the jokesters family dynamic are often cracking jokes with one another and really know how to make each other laugh when socializing they'll often naturally lean toward funny interactions especially jokes they might even get up to some mischief together they're more likely to form close or hurt sentiments towards each other and they naturally have this dynamic as well like this is not something that i cheated up it feels so good to be home we do have a little bit of trouble in paradise but i just feel like barbie's feeling kind of insecure right now but we'll address that on the first episode <laughs> i don't even know why that's there but i can't find our mom she may be at work she works at a local uh, grocery store where is our Lola there she is she is look at Lola I'm like where is she she is on a boat living her best life this is our Lola Minnie she is so cute I do think that um, most of the children and the family obtain their um birthmarks from her well what did you cook what did you cook they're always eating they're always talking they're always ugh, it's just family vibes here I love it I don't even want to go back <laughs> like you know what i mean i don't even want to go back i just want to stay here oh i got a pop-up of milestone so i may as well go ahead and get to that i brought the fam bam to the beach so we could talk about milestones really quick for barbie barbie and kenneth are really the main parts of this let's play you can see here that she's doing her homework yes barbie is in university she is actually in the communications or trying to get a communications degree she could only mentally take two classes this semester i know but she just she can't she started university pregnant and that was a lot for her and not gonna lie she has her tita to rely on so yeah finally i was wondering where our brother was you see we have a big family <laughs> and our brother was not home and neither was her mom yes we want to talk to christopher of course oh look at them just randomly giving each other a hug chris is calling me dad hold on Oh, what? Tell them to hurry up. They know that you're here. They're supposed to be spending time with you. <laughs> he must be out with some friends, but I will go ahead and open up his profile. This is Christopher De La Cruz. This is our younger brother. We're really good friends. We have amazing compatibility, and we also have a jokesters dynamic naturally with him as well. We're just a bunch of jokesters in this family. That's our little brother, and then our mom, who isn't here yet. So this is our nanai. This is Jenny Lynn. Jenny Lynn, yes, that is her name. So you, you may hear me call her Jenny. And she is our mom. Nothing super special or whatever the case may be. We don't have a dynamic yet. I'm not cheating anything. I'm just letting it grow into what it is. She's a very, very, very sweet lady. Very neat. We don't get that from her <laughs> at all. We're actually probably going to grab some dinner now. Oh my goodness. She just ruined my husband's snow pile? Um, excuse me. Barbie, Barbie, don't you dare. No, dad, she, did you really have to do that? 
like, did you really have to do that? Are you just having a bad day? You just ruined my husband's snow, snow. I said snow pile, sand castle. Before we leave the islands, I do want to go to the family restaurant that I was talking about where they serve amazing food. I can only invite up to seven Sims and I'm not sacrificing anyway. So realistically, Carlo's going to stay home. More about Carlo later. He's definitely the um, Tito that's uh, the outcast. <laughs> uh, our Lola does not like she drills his butt okay he's not as family oriented as the rest of them and he doesn't treat his wife very well like could he could treat her better well we're at the restaurant i'm upset because christopher is busy again our little brother is just out living his life he is a teenager we'll see him though we we will we do facetime him a lot and do lots of that stuff but um he's just a teenager man living his life typically barbie and the fam will normally visit sulani in the summertime or winter so it is summer right now hopefully i mean obviously the baby will be born before winter so we may be visiting here again our family is very near and dear to us sometimes they do have enough money to travel to where we are as well but it's just not that often um however i do know that we will be throwing a baby shower soon for barbie i think our lola and our mom will be there um in san sequoia with us this lp is going to be about family okay i didn't want to just start off with two sims and then call it a day now this will be a generation style let's play so i will be mainly focused on kenneth and barbie which i'm about to get in a minute going back to the background a little bit kenneth obviously comes from you know being in foster care all of his life he was never adopted kenneth meeting barbie to me was like fate because he's never had a family he doesn't even know what that feels like being here he feels welcomed and he feels loved and so that's why i also wanted to create this big family with this dynamic that hey like i'm used to my big crazy family and you're not used to family at all and hopefully kenneth will help her appreciate her family even more on those days where you know uncle or tito carlo wants to be a juice head like literally like he's just what is he doing right now nothing <laughs> why did you fly all the way here to not have a family dinner here is the food everyone is so happy we have some chicken adobo pork adobo look at all the yummy food everyone has uh -huh. look at minnie she's so cute i love our lola so much it is time to say goodbye to everyone because we do have to leave tita jorley and jenny lynn are sisters by the way so this is her mom's sister poor barbie she doesn't really feel good and she is going to hate the plane ride home but she can't can't wait to be home well i love you anak Mwah. oh my goodness i love it i love that so much that was a cute little kiss well i love you very much and i want you to get back safe we'll see you in a couple weeks for the baby shower also if you hear me say anak that's jenny lynn saying you know like my child in the galog it's anak i will be incorporating some elements of my own personal filipino culture and so we must say goodbye to the islands for now we will be back i don't really play in sulani like that's why i felt like this was a perfect way to embrace this world for what it is which feels like exactly what it looks like a complete getaway and it's absolutely beautiful so this is where we were where barbie's immediate family lives her mom her dad her grandma and her brother I'm heading back to the world of San Sequoia. This is where um, the, the Jorley lives and Barbie and her husband, Kenneth. And then over here is where uh, Tito Carlo lives. His wife and his two children. I totally forgot about Carlo Jr. I really did. I forgot to add him on the trip. I don't even know what happened there, but this is Carlo Jr. So we are finally home. It is literally almost dawn or is it past dawn? It's like... 4:57, 5 o'clock in the morning but it looks so beautiful here look at the sun coming up right there it's rising look at the cars over the bridge oh i just love the suburban vibe so at this very moment barbie and ken are pregnant as you saw and kenneth needs to make more money and barbie needs to finish school Again, she's only taking two classes as opposed to her cousin Princess who was taking four classes. Kenneth has a computer with aspiration and he, again, just has a regular, regular job. They actually do have a marriage certificate, so I will hang this up when they get their new home. Yes, I said it, <laughs> their new home. Basically, Barbie wants to definitely move out as soon as possible, okay? So Tita Jorley is a big help and we love her to death. We actually surprisingly have good compatibility considering we don't really like when people gossip the fact that we have good compatibility with Tita is just 
hilarious to me. We love her. She she means well and she's a great person. Barbie does want her own home with Kenneth. That she wants to not have to depend on her tita and her family members like that. We love it here, but we definitely just want our own. And we will focus on Barbie and Kenneth's life. I really wanted the family tree to just look amazing, you know, like just to see that, you know, Minnie has had her her sons and then they've had their children. And I just think it's awesome just to have these little connections here and there and a big family like this, even though we are solely going to be focused on Barbie and Kenneth's life. It's just like we have so much. Oh, we just got a new family dynamic. New family dynamic, supportive. Some older Sims have a knack for providing reassurance and emotional support for their younger family members. The older Sim can serve as a good role model, sharing their many life experiences to help guide the younger Sim through life. Recently, it seems like Joy Lee and Barbie have this type of relationship. When family members have a supportive family dynamic, both Sims will actively provide affection and compliments to each other. The older Sim will actively seek to console or cheer up the younger Sim, and the younger Sim feels comfortable venting complaints or asking for help a bit more. Yes, I love this. Maybe this is why we can't judge Tita Jorley. She may gossip, which look she may do. Oh my gosh, Kenneth, you are late for work. You have to go to work. He's busy programming. He's busy programming. I love that he's programming, but he just needs to take a leap and get into the tech guru career and just call it a day. But here he goes. He's going to do his little side job, the lawnmower career. And I love Kenneth to death. Now, I will say Kenneth is reluctant about leaving. He loves living here at the Thedroid Lees because he feels like they can save so much money. And I don't think he's ready to be out on his own just yet. Just of the luxury of being here living with Ita. So that's where that comes in. But Barbie wants to, she wants to grow up. She wants to do her own thing. And then Lady, I saved the best for last. Lady is our dog who... I think is pregnant. I downloaded her from the gallery and in another save, she actually had a puppy. So if I see a puppy anywhere, we may give it to uh, Carlo. <laughs> Come here, you little smush. Oh, I love you. <laughs> so cute. So this is our family. Well, that generally sums up what my Sam Barbie is like in her life, her family, her husband, and what life will be like. This Let's Play will be really chill. I don't have a story. We really are just simply playing. I just wanted to create a super family-like atmosphere for me to just feel like this sim didn't just pop out of thin air you know what i mean i really wanted her to feel like she has been here and so has her family i hope you all enjoyed this and if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe just keep simming always 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 stay wavy and i'll see you in the next episode peace out <laughs>